my channel health tutorial in this video today i'm going to tell you uh, about uh, a closed loop induction motor drive okay so in my previous video i told you how to make a uh, open loop v by f control induction motor drive so if you have not seen my previous video how i made this model which is you are uh, uh, you, you you can see in this uh, screen so that video i will request you to watch before watching this video so now we will make this open loop induction motor drive into closed loop induction motor drive so how we can make a closed loop induction motor drive so what is the idea behind closed loop induction motor drive the idea behind any closed loop system is to track the speed or a particular response of a system okay so here the system is this drive okay so here we will track the speed of this induction motor so whatever the speed we will define here that speed it will produce irrespective of this load okay so this is the purpose why we are uh, moving from open loop drive to closed loop drive so how we can make it so first the thing is that whenever we are making any system closed loop so the main idea is that we have to sense the error okay so what is the actual speed we are want and what is the speed the induction motor will give so this two speed will be compared and it will be given to a controller like pi controller or pid controller okay and then it will be processed through this control system okay through this system and it will force this converter to work in such a way this induction motor that it will meet the required speed okay so this is how we actually explain closed loop system in any system okay so now i will make this open loop system into closed loop system so here you can see this is the speed of the motor okay so one go to i will take here okay so you can take one go to block and you can connect like this okay and here you can double click on it and name it as omega r okay so this speed actually i will sense okay and we will take it to the controller okay so here i will take it so now this one is in the form of radian per second and it is in terms of mechanical so we will convert it into electrical quantity so this one easily can be converted into electrical quantity by divide by multiplying it with the number of pole so our machine have only two pill pole okay so now uh, i will disconnect here okay and a little bit i will move and here this two speed i will compare okay so for that i will take one sum block okay and this will be connected here and it will be connected here now double click on it and here make it minus okay so now this two will generate one error signal that will be the error speed okay okay error of the speed so this error signal will be uh, fed to a controller okay so we have pid controller okay so pid controller we will take discrete pid controller okay this one okay now double click on it so here this value i will take 0.8 based on my tuning okay and this is 5.2 and i will not do 
anything here just i will go down and i will keep all these things unchanged here initial will be similar and the saturation here i will use minus 500 sorry 500 to minus 500 okay and i will take here this assumption and here nt wind up i will take clamping method okay and everything will be similar no change nothing we have to do here now this will go here and this will be connected here and this will be connected here now here we have to restrict okay because this one we are taking into per unit even though it will be restricted but uh, one uh, saturator we have to take here okay in order to restrict it within 0 to 1 because this amplitude of this signal should be not minus okay vm vm should be positive okay so 0 to 1 to ensure that i am using this one okay so it should be 0 to 1 now i will use here 1200 okay because i have tuned this pid controller by taking 1200 as base speed okay so almost my model is ready so you can understand that we are sensing the speed of this motor and it is given to a controller okay means at first it is going given to a comparator this comparator is comparing the reference speed and the measured speed and these two speeds are being compared and it is generating a error signal and that error signal is given to a controller okay and further it will be processed through the reference signal generator okay and then it is going to a pwm modulator which is generating the pulses and that pulses is going to the inverter okay and this inverter will drive this motor okay so this is the idea so now i will take little bit bigger value here five stop time now i will simulate it so let's we will see what is the response how the controller is responding here with respect to this induction motor now we can see here we have taken 1200 as a reference speed and it is tracking around 1200 okay very little bit variation now double click on it to see the waveform yes ah it's good not bad it is quite good okay so you can see this is the speed rpm waveform and this is the torque generated by the motor and let's see the terminal output voltage of the inverter and the current drawn by the motor yes pretty good okay so it is pretty good no problem we can check this yes quite good no problem it is sine wave current it is drawing and this is the terminal voltage at the output of the inverter so each and everything is fine i will request you guys to analyze this model and you can make it more uh, perfect okay i left little bit less perfect tuned okay so you can play with this pid controller if you can tune in the well okay uh, in the best way then this will generate more perfect result okay this uh, oscillations can be removed okay and here it is going at uh, initially it is starting at 1500 rpm and going to down so that also can be uh, uh, keep away okay and it can be start from zero and then it will slowly increase and it will go reach the steady state response okay so that can be done by 
proper uh, tuning of the PID controller. Okay, so this is how you can make your previous open loop control uh, induction motor into closed loop induction motor. So hope this will be helpful for your project if you are from undergraduate students or master students or even from PhD students. You can use this model, no problem, and it will be helpful to understand simulation. So thank you guys. Thank you for supporting and subscribing my channel. Thank you.